It's morning for our early Anglo-Saxon lady, a lovely spring day. She wakes up in her smock. The layer closest to the skin is made of linen. It is easily washed and very breathable. Her next layer is also made of linen today. The weather is mild. This tunic will go right over her smock. It's dyed with turmeric, but a similar color can be obtained from the weld plant. The garments of this time were loose fitting, and it is unclear whether women wore any sort of bust support at this time. The third layer is a wool peplos. It is a simple tube of fabric which folds over and is pinned at the top with two circular disc brooches. It seems as though it may have been easier to pin the garment before putting it on, but for this example, the garment is being pinned after the peplos is put on the body. Her peplos is decorated with a tablet woven band. A small purse is looped into her belt and contains coins and anything else she may need to carry with her. A woman of the house would also typically wear a key on her belt as well. At last, simple leather shoes are worn. It is difficult to identify any leg coverings that may have been worn by women, but her tunic reaches to the ground and keeps the legs warm. Today, her hair will be braided and tied up with a string, which is incorporated into the braid and the ends tied together at the end. This holds very well, even overnight, if the wearer goes to sleep with it in. There are interesting examples of preserved bodies with very long braided hair, which have been wrapped and woven through the braid many times.
And now, Our Lady is ready to start her day.